things that way, that's all. Well, you ought to give it a try, fella. It might keep you out of jail. Maybe, but we'll change the law someday, even though your friend here thinks we won't. Believe me, it's a new world. Your laws are as outdated as bustles. Laws are going to have to be changed to keep pace with the new morality. They'll change or we'll have to break them. What about your daughter? How's she going to feel if you end up in jail? She won't like it any more than I will, but you'll have to catch me before you can arrest me, won't you? In the meantime, it's a big game of hide-and-seek, and to me, it is a waste of time. How old are you, Shipley? Twenty-three. Isn't it about time you grew up? Here we go. Lecture number 131A. No, I'm not going to give you a lecture. I don't have the time. I'm just going to lay it out for you straight. Now, you listen to me. You chip you around with marijuana long enough, and you're going to buy yourself a lot of grief. After a while, marijuana won't be enough. You'll start looking for a bigger kick, and then a bigger one after that. And all of this is going to go down the tubes. Your job, your house, car, family, everything. We've seen it happen before. And not just to the neurotics and psychotics that wife of yours talks about, but to nice, clean-cut kids from good families with good educations. They start out just like you, and they end up mainliners, shooting it in their arms. And they end up dead, or wishing they were. Maybe. Look, everybody says no, not me. I'll never get hooked. They say it right up to the day they start climbing the walls, and they began saying just what you are now. There's nothing wrong with marijuana. Well, there's nothing wrong with a gun either until you pull the trigger. You can't even buy this stuff without getting dirty. Think about the guy you bought it from. You think he has a wife, a nice child, a home? No junkies do. They spend most of their time sick or in jail. Don't you take my word for it. Just take a look at the guy you bought from. And look hard, fella, because you're looking right in the mirror. Now, if that's how you want it, there's nothing we can do about it right now. Next time it may be different. And you believe me, boy, there'll be a next time. Dinner's ready. Good. Is school off for the day? Will you be seeing my father after you leave? Should we? No, but if you do, will you tell him something for me? Sure. Ask him to read the Bible. The epistle of Paul to the Ephesians. Maybe you'll understand. How's that? Because of what it says about our generation. Tell him to read chapter 6. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. The old ways are not their ways. Your dusk is their dawn. The future is theirs. Try chapter 5, lady. The Apostle Paul also said this. Yes, what is that? See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. 